I've never baked ice cream before, but the internet tells me that apparently you can by just adding flour and, and baking powder. So I'm, I'm up for this challenge. I'm an ice cream kind of girl and I ordered my six favorite flavors. I'm really excited. Also, we, we're not really grocery shopping these days. I have everything delivered to the door and the grocery person probably thought I was insane when the only thing that was on my grocery list was six different kinds of ice cream. <laughs> this just seems like a weird concept that I can just add in flour. So the way that I looked up online, it says that for one cup of ice cream, I need half a cup of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. You just mix it up and, and bake it like a cake. Does that not look incredible though? Like as long as it bakes, but like it looks and smells amazing. I feel like it looks very airy, but the thing is, is like ice cream has a lot of those primary ingredients. Like it has the, like the sugars and the fats and everything that you'd use in a cake. So you're just kind of balancing it with some of those dry ingredients. The only thing it doesn't have is egg. So that's where I'm kind of nervous about the structure. I'm kind of just more excited that each layer of this cake is gonna be a different layer of my favorite kind of ice cream. Luckily, I feel like all the flavors that I love work really well together because I've got like this coffee kind of caramel. And I've got this like fudgy, chocolate one and a lot of peanut butter and chocolate because that's definitely my favorite combination of anything. And if this is like a hack now and the easy way to make a cake, I'm here for it. I can't wait to see how this tastes. Okay, so I don't know. Is it gonna be really sweet? Are this flavors gonna come through? Is it gonna taste too floury? Is it gonna bake right? Like, I feel like the smart thing to do would be to do a test with one of them, but we don't have time for that because I have to decorate this whole cake and make it look incredible so it doesn't look like an ice cream cake. I'm just so glad that there's so many non-dairy flavors of ice cream out there now. Like I can't believe how good the dairy-free flavors are, but if this works, then it also shows that you could do this like dietary restrictive, you know? Okay. Oh. Well, cause it doesn't have any dairy or eggs. Oh, I have restrictive diet. Yeah, restrictive and you can diet. use like gluten-free flour. So you're like dietary restrictive friendly. It's like Lurie, this is ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not diet, I didn't say diet friendly. <laughs> Luckily I planned ahead last night and I left all of the ice cream in the fridge. So they were the perfect consistency this morning, just like being nice and soft and melty. Um, I'm gonna get these in the oven. For the icing, I got vanilla ice cream because I can't make an ice cream baked cake and then just use regular icing. So I figured I could take like an American buttercream recipe and then for all of the liquid, add in vanilla ice cream. Sounds so good. Right? I feel like it might be like a tad sweet. Um, yeah, but I think icing should be sweet. I, I'm, I'm whipping up my, my dairy-free butter first and then I, I balance it with my icing sugar and I, ice cream. Icing sugar ice cream. Now, I don't really know how much to add. I'm just trying to balance like the wetness of the ice cream and the dryness of icing sugar to kind of make the right consistency, but still have like enough ice cream in there so we can call it ice cream icing. Okay, let's see how this tastes. You can really taste the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Like I can't describe it, but it tastes like whipped ice cream kind of. I feel confident. I just don't know if I can like ice my cake the way I'd normally be able to. Like, Where's your confidence meter at out of 10? My confidence meter? Probably about a seven. Like I feel okay. good. It worked. Look, I've got like little baked cake layers. They've baked and they've cooled and I feel like they look exactly like if you bake a cake regularly. I will say it seems a little bit more dense and I noticed that there's kind of a difference between ones that were like kind of more liquidy like the haagen had more of a liquid kind of cake consistency or liquid ice cream consistency, whereas the Briars were thicker and fluffier. So this one ended up being like not as nice. I feel like it's probably too much flour. So maybe if you're making it, balance the liquid to the flour amount. But like, I'm sorry. Look how delicious and chocolatey and fudgy that looks. That looks amazing. That is a tasty looking cake. That is a tasty looking cake. Okay. Can I try some? Should we try the fluffy one? Because I feel like those ones we're not going to actually use. Thank you. Dry. Yeah, it definitely has that peanut butter ice cream flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit dry. It's more, that one's more bready, I feel like. 
Mmm. Low low. Mmm. And some over. Mmm. Like cookies and cream ice cream cake. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. It tastes good, that's right? Crazy. I can't this one's that like one. too floury. Like huh? this one's definitely too floury. Why don't people just make cakes like that? It seems so much easier to just melt some ice cream. I don't know. I baked some extra cake layers because I wasn't sure exactly how many I was going to need for the height I was going for, but I'll just kind of take it bit by bit. And now I get to layer it up with my ice cream flavored icing. But I only want a small amount of this in the middle. I didn't want to add a filling to have like a different flavor and throw all the flavors off. I just want something to help neutralize all the flavors because we've got different flavors of ice cream cake. But I need something to help stick them together and don't want to add a lot of sweetness. I think that's tall enough because I have a plan. I think I want to do some sort of like really cool kind of chocolate sculpture or something on top of this because I want it to look amazing, like a really crazy kind of modern birthday cake and not look like a cake that was like baked with ice cream. I think it's safe to say this no longer looks like ice cream. Before I move on, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As you guys may know, I launched my first ever online class through Skillshare a few months ago. We created the ultimate guide to decorating cookies and level up your cookie game. If you guys have not checked it out yet, I think you're going to love it. You will learn everything from the basics to me breaking down advanced techniques in a way that anyone can replicate. I mean anyone. But my cookie class is not the only cool thing on Skillshare. They have thousands of classes on their platform. If you're looking to explore a new skill or learn some new techniques for an existing passion, you should definitely check out Skillshare. I have been loving Anyone Can Watercolor by Yasmina Create. I felt like I really needed a new creative outlet and I've always loved watercolors, but I had no idea what I was doing or where to start. Yasmina's class has been so helpful to get me out of my comfort zone and learn some new techniques. I'm still dabbling a bit and getting to know my brushes, but I was surprised at how easy watercolors really are, even for someone who didn't excel at art, and you can ask my mom. It's less than $10 a month for their annual plan, but the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity and get inspired. It dried like really hard, which I don't know I'm so surprised because ice cream does dry hard, but I was worried it wouldn't really crust properly in the fridge. I think this is gonna work. So I'm gonna ice it in a thicker coat of white icing, let it go in the fridge and harden up again. And then I'm feeling like I can go on top with some pretty colors. I'm feeling like sunset vibes right now. That's the vibe I'm going for. See if I can pull it off. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe down below and like this video. I never ask you guys to like the video because I hate asking, but it does actually really help out the content, so please like it as well. Um, and I need help deciding what I'm gonna do with my hair next. I did purple and you guys absolutely loved it, and then the purple just kind of faded out, and because of lockdown, I haven't been able to go get it done but I'm debating whether I should dye it purple again or leave it like this. Let me know what you guys think. You guys can help me pick my hairstyle. Like most things I do on this channel, I've never done this before. I wanted to make whoop, like, like a chocolate sale um, to go on top of the cake because I've seen a lot of those ones on Pinterest and stuff and they look really cool. I thought it'd make a really pretty kind of cake topper in these nice colors, but I've never done one before, so we're kind of figuring it out as we go. But from what I've seen, you just kind of add your chocolate on, and then you, you pinch it together with like little clips and stuff. So this one, because I want it to be a few different colors, I did my colors on the bottom, and now I'm just gonna try to cover the top with a thicker layer of chocolate to help hold it together. Chocolate is my enemy. And it's not like the kind of like enemy, but like we're frenemies. I do not like chocolate because I always run into issues with chocolate. Every single time I try to do something with chocolate, issues. You think I would have learned my lesson by now? Then no. I'm trying to get my little ear bubbles to the surface. This is what the internet says to do. You're just supposed to, oh, it's drying already. Crap, you, you wave it with the, with the parchment paper. Um, before it dries, which it appears to already be doing. <gasps> no! Crafting. There's already a crack! How is there already a crack? No, shh, shh. It's okay. Okay, please don't crack on me. Please don't crack on me. Luckily, we've got a lot of chocolate here, so I can do more. I think I'm just gonna do a bunch like this, knowing that some of them are gonna fail and then I'll have extras so we don't mess up the whole cake. We're gonna work faster this time. 
smears. I'm just trying to drop the yellow chocolate so I don't blend it too much. Smear, smear. White chocolate, panic. I feel like these, <laughs> these sales, I keep trying to make small sales and I feel like, oh, tap, tap, tap. I feel like they're kind of big. This is a small cake. This might be, might be too big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we just have to work faster. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's the one. That's a keeper. Winner! We had lunch and let these dry, so I'm hoping they're dry enough now. But I made this one to be like little shards that could go on top. I just don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to cut little pieces that I can kind of scatter across the top of the cake because I thought that would be cute. Oh, yes. Look That's at awesome. that! <gasps> I'm really nervous about the sale. <laughs> Which one do we like the most? Is this, I think this is the first one. This is the first one. Let me try taking this one apart. <gasps> Off my head. That looks awesome. That looks really cool. That was the first one we did. This is the second one. I'm so nervous that they're gonna like melt in my hand because my hands are so warm and that it's gonna break. Ooh, get off of my chocolate. Okay. I like this one. It has more waves and like more angled down. Or do you like this one better? Uh, they both look good. No, I think I like the second the one. The second better. one. Yeah, second okay. One. And we made a mini one. Look at the cute one. Look how cute it is. Okay, I'm not really sure how we're gonna like balance all of them, but at least we have options. Let's get the cake out of the fridge. And Kevin just had to go to the store to get icing sugar so I can make all new icing because I messed up the colors royally. I was trying to match it to this and I was like rushing and I messed it up and I had no more icing. So now we have these ones. With These are much better colors. I feel like they're looking good. These ones are going in the garbage and let's try this technique. Like the chocolate, I'm feeling like blotches, like sunsetty colors, but blotches on. Yes. I'm like a tiny bit obsessed already. I can't believe we start off with ice cream and somehow end up with this. Um, but let's try it. Mmm. That's definitely the cookies and cream, but I can kind of see it. This one, I can see a chunk of peanut butter and chocolate. Oh my God. Wow. That one is the, um, um, I think, haagen peanut butter chocolate. I got like a beautiful chunk of chocolate in that though. Okay, all right. So good. Okay, this is like the chocolate fudge one. Mmm. Oh my god, that one's so moist. I feel like I'm like overreacting, but like honestly, mm. I'm shocked that we start off with ice. Like it's good really though, good. right? Yep. That's super good. I don't even know. Is anymore. it the Hagen Dazs peanut butter chocolate one? <laughs> Maybe. That's this good, is though. like a That's good, so good cake I never though. Peanut butter cake would be good, mm. but thank you. You want to take that with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's eating there over there and numbing the cake. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link down below in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And you're like scratching with, with, the, with the plate. He's just like shoveling it in. There's barely anything left of that slice. So Are you going to say something for me? No. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.